Mitt Romney doesn't need headlines like this just 49 days before America votes. His latest problem, the left-leaning magazine Mother Jones, has published a secret video of a dinner with rich financial supporters. The Republican candidate suggests almost half of all Americans are scroungers who'd be bound to support Obama. There are 47% of the people who vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent on government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they're entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. But that's it's an entitlement, and the government should give it to them. And they will vote for this president no matter what. He also said peace in the Middle East is unthinkable to accomplish because Palestinians have no interest in it and want to destroy Israel. Within hours of the video becoming public, he'd called a hasty late-night news conference. It's not elegantly stated, let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question. The Obama campaign raced out a new advert. Romney's remarks play into their portrayal of him as rich and remote. It shows that he's out of touch then. If he thinks that half of the country is feel like, feeling like victims. Victims? I wouldn't say so. The real problem for Mr Romney is that this is not a one-off. He spent the last seven days explaining away controversial remarks rather than punching home his big message, arguing his case to the American people. And his campaign seems to have descended into semi-public bickering, panicked by the polls. In the race for the White House, Barack Obama and Mitt Romney were neck and neck through the summer, but after the party conventions, the president pulled ahead. That's narrowed today, but the surge had already spooked the Romney campaign. Republicans are concerned. The campaign's been a little ragged around the edges. It needs to be sharper. The candidate needs to be more focused. That said, by any measure, Romney's in pretty good shape. He's no worse than two to four points behind against an incumbent president. He's no worse than even with money. Romney's pretty strong, but he's got to get better. Mitt Romney and the president agree there's a gulf between their different visions of America, but the Republican candidate is learning the hard way that scornfully dismissing voters on the other side of the divide isn't particularly good politics. Mark Modell, BBC News, Washington.